Hey, this is Tristan at Hip Cooks in West Los Angeles, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make hash browns. All right, first step, peel your potato. Second step is to use your Cuisinart, if you have one, or a cheese grater to make it into nice little hash brownie shreds. So I sliced up some of my potatoes earlier and I'm storing them in water so that the hash browns or the potatoes don't turn brown. You can see that the water is brown, but the potatoes are not, and that's what we want. So if you're going to go and just shred up your potatoes earlier on, store them in water. So I have a colander here and a bowl just to drain them. in here as well. So I have tons of potatoes here and I will probably have a couple batches of hash browns. So drain them out. We want them pretty dry. So press them down, give them some squeezes, get rid of all of that water because when we're pan frying in the saute pan, we don't want a lot of extra water. Take out any big chunks like this so that we have pure, unadulterated hash browns. So a little bit of water will keep on dripping. Okay, now I have some paper towels too to help absorb that water. Just give them some good squeezes. Just having that extra water will make it harder for it to brown and we'll end up with steamed potatoes. So I've chosen to do hash browns with raw potatoes because I prefer the texture. You can also use pre-cooked potatoes, like I could then plunk these in water and get them cooked. They cook faster in the fry pan, but I don't like the texture as much. Okay, so my potatoes are ready. For some added flavor, let's get an onion going. Actually, while I'm chopping this, turn on the stove. We want our oil nice and hot, so get that going. I'm ready. If you want them really oniony, you can add more onion than that. So, a couple handfuls. Give them one last squeeze. So depending on the size of your pan will depend on how many potatoes you put in here. I think that's about good for this one. And then some flavoring of salt and pepper. And these can be salted at the end too. So this is just a little bit to begin. Messy job. Okay. So those are seasoned, ready to go. I really just want my oil to get nice and hot. So you can drop in a couple bits of potato and see how quickly it sizzles. It's almost there. All right, that's the sound I want. Okay. So that's a good amount for that pan. Just let it sit. Stir it around a bit so it all absorbs the oil. Okay. And then pat it down firmly and let it sit for about 10 minutes. We're going for the golden potato look, the crispy. Hash brown. 
to pat it down so it starts to stick together. Okay. So let that sit, sit, let that sit for about 10 minutes. Alrighty, it's been about 10 minutes with the hash browns. And with my spatula, I can see that it's been, uh, it's getting dark on the backside, which is exactly what we want. So I've cut it in half just to help me flip it. Hash browns is hash. You don't have to have it in one big, nice piece like you find at IHOP. Um, so if you flip it and it falls apart, don't fret. It's kind of expected be it that it's hashed. So if you want to just do it in a bunch of pieces, that's okay. Okay. Okay, so once again, press them down so we get nice thin potatoes and as much crunch as we get. And because they're raw, I want to put a lid over the top to ensure that they are fully cooked. So just leave that there so they'll get a little bit of steam in there going, but not too much to take away the crunch. And that will be another 10 minutes. Alrighty, the hash browns are done. I checked and the bottom underneath is nice and crisp and the potatoes are looking done. So, a little sprinkle of salt and slide onto the plate. And that's how to cook hash browns. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. If there are any other dishes you'd like to see me prepare, please send an email to requestatmahalo.com and in the meantime, check out our other cooking videos.